Thanks, Richard. How am I going? Uh, All right. So um, um, I'm not really interested in, in cars. Someone dragged me along to the Sydney Motor Show on the weekend. And the um, you know, car industry, big industry, uh, Sydney Motor Show uh, attendances are down. Uh, that business model seems to me to be broken. And, and why is that? Well, you know, what used to happen is people would go to the motor show to get uh, to sit inside a car and look at the interior of the car, get information, do comparisons, a lot of stuff that they can currently do already on the internet. Okay, so that, that show is in trouble. Um, the other thing that, that came to my attention in Sydney, there's uh, an app that's recently been launched which allows uh, taxi drivers um, uh, to use that app. You as a customer can then um, uh, notify that you're ready for uh, a taxi uh, using geolocation. The closest taxi driver will get a notification and that taxi driver will then phone you directly to pick you up, thereby cutting out all of the um, uh, you know, the services offered by the taxi company itself and going direct to the drivers, causing a lot of upset. And, and both of those things seem to me to be examples of what the, what the internet is doing to business models generally. I've been over looking at the Web Directions um, uh, seminar conference uh, in the Eastern States. Um, a lot of the, the brightest uh, sparks in the world, a lot of thought leaders uh, looking at what's happening uh, on the web and what trends are. One of them is a guy called Ben Hammersley who consults to the UK government um, and Ben says everything the internet touches uh, it destroys and rebuilds in its own image and, and that's pretty much what is happening and, and, and that's what retailers are, are facing at the moment. So a little bit about the where, where the association fits into this is uh, we're really quite interested in um, you know, the difference between ethical operations and unethical operations, and Richard mentioned that a number of people have had the experience of having unsatisfactory dealings with uh, web developers. Um, so, you know, you go to a web developer and you tell them you want a website, they're going to give you a website and they're going to charge you money. So that happens. Now, some operators are more ethical than others. And some people get better service than others. What tends to happen is that the ethical people join our industry association. Um, I'm not saying that, that you know, that's 100% the case, but by and large, uh, we tend to have the more ethical operations. The people who have um, a lower levels of ethics tend to have big sales forces and they tend to go cold calling and they pick up a lot more business. And this, you know, this creates problems for the image of the whole industry, which is why as an association we're interested in drawing a line and separating out for people the difference between those two classes of operation. So um, we're interested in, you were talking about a, you know, a database of service providers. We're interested in providing materials to people like retailers so that they can take those to web developers, ask them difficult questions, be more informed about what they need to find out along the way uh, and, and make better decisions. So, um, you know, we're most enthusiastic about participating in that and, and helping to put you in touch with people who have the knowledge to help you with the strategy. I guess the final thing on, on that is to say that we are creating a category within our directory which is going to allow you to find the people who will give you the, the advice about digital strategy that you need. We're separating out the people who consult in that area and who are competent in that area. Uh, and there are some of those people uh, in the room today. So um, yeah, look forward to cooperating, uh, particularly in, in terms of the database and how that works. And you know, more power to you, and uh, congratulations on the initiative. Thanks very much, Brett.